passing game. We want some days to keep it moving. Keep everything happening, okay? The passing game was not understood by X and O people. To Doug, it was, it was kind of a high form of art. If you didn't have the ball, you better be moving. If you had the ball, you were then the point guard until you got rid of the ball. And if you didn't have the ball and were standing around, you're probably going to get asked to sit next to Doug for a little while. I tell you what, this team moves the ball around and set up a play for a 20-foot jumper like, like nobody else in the NBA. Love it. We played basically freelance. Offensively, uh, the whole goal was to get it up quick as possible, hit the wing, and the first guy cut through. Don't let the defense set up. If the first guy passes, stands there, his man stands. But if you hit and you're moving all the time and you cut, guy goes through, the defense goes with him, it opens things up. He said, Mike, your job is to push the ball down the floor as fast as you can. If you can get a layup, take it. If you can't, you pass the ball to the wing, you cut through and come out. After the ball goes through, Alex, Kiki, and Dan, and you get it back, you can shoot it. If you take this line here, this line here, this line here, and this line here, and you play in between there and have a good time, you'll end up scoring. Doug let us have free reign. We knew what we were supposed to do. We knew how to play the passing game. We had no set plays. Danny Shays to keep you there in the way and make it look very, very easy. Matter of fact, it's too easy. The only mistake you can make in the passing game is standing still. Doug was very much a motion coach. Go, go! Come on, right to the hoop. And it's not as easy as people think. People wanted to fast break because it's a lot of fun, but then he'd show them to fast break, you gotta run. And their practices would be run, 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 and they were in the best shape of anybody else in the league. And the second thing is, you kind of had to you had to think about basketball. That's why Alex English was so good. Um, Alex English was a smart basketball player. T.R. Dunn, smart basketball player. Uh, Dan Nissel, smart basketball player. The people who really thrived in that system, really understood the game. And the style was up and down, and you, know, you played multiple positions. Whereas in Portland, I was strictly a point guard. I always say, Jack taught me how to play in the NBA, and Doug let me play in the NBA. All of the offenses that I ever coached against uh, in the NBA were one of the most efficient, well-run, organized, disorganized uh, offenses in the history of the game. Everybody thought he just maybe rolled the ball out, but, but he knows exactly what he's doing and it works. He was really, and you, you won't want to hear this, he'll probably throw up if he hears me say, he was really a genius early when it came to out-of-the-box thinking you know, from an offensive standpoint. So forget the plays. Just go out there, have a good time, run around with like a chicken with your head cut off, make those stiffs run and chase you on defense a little bit, and you too can win a few games.